My name is Skylar Dacey, outside sales engineer with AAP Automation. And this is the first part video of a multi-part series showing how to integrate an ACS380 ABB VFD as an Ethernet IP slave with a Rockwell PLC. Um, so in this series, we're going to show first how to parameterize the VFD for an Ethernet card, uh, specifically a FINA21. In later videos, we'll show how to uh, program the Compact Logix PLC to control this drive as the master. Step one. We're gonna take out this faceplate and install the Ethernet IP card. That just goes into option slot one. And now I'm gonna hand it off to Andrew Hennesek to show you how to parameterize the VFD. Hey, my name is Andrew Hennesek, AAP Automation Applications Engineer. And now that we got our field bus module plugged in, we're gonna step through setting up the parameters. You'll see that there's the red blinking light and that just shows that we haven't set up anything so it's not communicating yet. Um, to do so, I find it's best to use Drive Composer. So it's a free software that you can get online. Um, if you just Google ABB Drive Composer, it'll be the first link and there's a free download. So if we take our ethernet cable, we're connected to our remote control panel and then that goes into my USB. You just quit, hit a quick search and it'll pull up the drive and all the parameters. I find it's a lot easier to read them and to set them. And so now we'll step through each of these parameters to get this communicating with our Allen Bradley PLC. So here we have Drive Composer. You can see our ACS380 is connected. And we go down to our options menu on the left-hand side and we'll go to parameters. So all the ones we wanna add I have imposed on the right side here. And you can see the first one we have is 50. So we go down to parameter 50, field bus adapter and 01 would be field bus A enable. We want to change that to enable. And then the second one, field bus com loss. So what is the reaction from the drive if it does lose communication? You can set it to fault, warning, use the last speed reference. So for now, we'll go with fault. And then we're going to continue going down this list for each variable and plugging them into our parameters. As you can see, we entered all the parameters that are on the list to the right. Anything highlighted has been changed from default. Now we can take a look at what the drive looks like after setting this up. So now that Andrew has the parameter set up for the Ethernet communication module, we've got a blinking light here showing that it's communicating with the VFD. Next up is setting up the communication on the Allen Bradley PLC side. Tune into our next video to see how to get that done. Thanks.